that was gonna do that. I didn't realize it was a shimmer shade. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are gonna be playing with a new brand that I've never actually tried before. Um, it's not a new new brand, like obviously it's been around for a while, but it's new to me and I wanted to test out some of the good like test out some of the products and kind of like give a little bit of a first impressions for you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight on into it. So the brand that we're gonna be testing today is Lime Crime, if you can tell already. Um I recently received some really cute goodies from them. They sent it to me in PR and I was like, we gotta do a video on it because I never tried anything from the brand and um, so I'm excited I'm actually excited so let's go ahead and look at the products that we've got uh, I'm not going to be using all these products just letting you guys know because one I don't think it would go really well with the eyeshadow palette that I've got so yeah just letting you guys know so the first thing that I received was the diamond do uh, liquid glitter eyeshadow this packaging you guys it's so cute let's open her up I got mine in the shade tearful uh, it's like a really pretty blue shade, really cute, love this, the packaging is gorgeous. This retails for £16, that's what it says on the Lime Crime website. I think Selfridges are a little bit more expensive, like I know they are sold on Selfridges, but I think their prices are a little bit different and um, I'm not too sure if Lime Crime do like when they do the shipping i'm not too sure if they charge you for like um customs that kind of thing um but yeah i'm just letting you guys know um so pretty i you guys know that i love like liquid eyeshadows like i love the beauty bay ones so i'm excited to try this it looks so pretty the shade is gorgeous they obviously do have more shades on the website but like this one is so gorgeous i cannot wait to play with it it's the next thing i got i got a software blush uh, I've never tried any of their blush before, obviously I've never tried anything from their brand before. Um, this is like a cream to powder blush. I'm not like a big cream blush kind of fan, um, but I'm going to try this anyway. Cream to powder, I'm a bit confused. Do you apply it with your cream products or do you apply it with your powder products? I don't know, we'll get to it. <laughs> but yeah, I got mine in the shade Petal, which is like a really kind of like cool tone pinky purple shade i'm scared but i'm excited but i'm scared i don't know if it's gonna look good on me but we will see we'll play with it this retails for 18 pound the next thing i got i got a gloss i have been so excited to try this gloss i've wanted to try it for the longest time like honestly honestly it's yeah i've just been wanting to try it for the longest time because i think it looks so pretty so I got the Wet Cherry Gloss and I got it in the shade Cherry Slime, which is this gorgeous greeny shade. Look at that. Oh my, I, got, I, I can't. I just thought that this would look really cute on top of like maybe a nude pink kind of lipstick and then pop this on top. And I'm going to try that. I'm excited. Look how cute this shade is. By the way, guys, this retails for £14. I forgot to mention that. But yeah. The last thing that I got, which I am the most excited for, is a palette. And I asked for the Venus XL Volume 2 palette. Can we just take in the packaging? The packaging is stunning. Like, I literally love the packaging of this. It just gives me, like, them Greek kind of goddess vibes almost. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Um, packaging, oh, everything. This retails for £46 on the website. I'm pretty sure I've seen somewhere else where, like, they charge 50 I don't know. But yeah, this is the inside. How gorgeous are these shades? I'm really sorry, it's like really reflective. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. There we go, that's a bit better. How gorgeous is this? The shades in here are so pretty. Let's go ahead, let's get straight on into it. Let's get on to testing out these products. I am so excited. Before I play with it on the eyes, I'm gonna test a few of these shades. I'm gonna like swatch a few of these shades. They have a, like, a lot of different palettes on the website, but I just wanted to try this palette out because I think it looks so pretty. That is gorgeous. And the, the green doesn't swatch that great, but then again, it was with my pinky, so. Really nice. That pink is, oh, that is stunning. I've literally just primed 
my lids as always I use the ABH eye primer okay so I'm going to take the first shade I'm going to take the shade in bloom which is this really pretty pink shade here and I'm literally going to apply that to like the inner part of my crease if that makes sense <laughs> oh quite a bit of kick up when I picked up that shade Ooh. it's a really pretty shade like, honestly it's like it's like the shade that you would use for like a blush or something there is a lot of kick up in this pan you guys like a lot that's pretty it packs on really well nice and easy I'm then going to take the shade sage which is this like greeny shade here I don't know if you can see the shade in bloom um there's a little quite a bit of kick up in the pan um quite a bit and I'm going to pack this obviously just next to that pink shade my brush is stained by the way guys it's, if you can see purple on it it's literally just because it's stained This shade also has quite a bit of kick up. That's a really unique shade though, like, oh my god. First of all, them two pack on really well. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but nothing crazy. You only need a very light hand to pack on the shades. I'm then just going to take the In Bloom shade again, uh, which is that first pink shade. I'm gonna take that on like a more fluffy brush because there isn't a lighter pink shade in here. You know, like I need something to blend that shade out, but I'm gonna just use the same shade and just take it on a more fluffy brush and try and blend it upwards. It's kind of blended it okay by itself anyway, so I'm not mad, not mad. I'm then going to take the shade Obscure, I think that's how you say it, which is this like pastel green shade here. I'm going to start to blend out that sage shade with this. Oh, maybe not. I did not know that I was going to do that. I didn't realise it was a shimmer shade. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not going to do that because obviously I didn't realise it was a shimmer shade and yeah. <laughs> I'm basically just going to take that sage shade again on a fluffy brush, pretty much just doing what I've just done with the pink um, and I'm just going to like lightly blend over that. Ugh. I really didn't realise that that was a shimmer shade. It doesn't look like a shimmer shade. Ugh. Okay, so now that I've kind of like got that built up, I'm quite happy with it to be honest with you. Like, considering I only used two matte shades, I really managed to kind of like make this work. Um, for the lid shade, I don't really know what I'm going to use. Um, obviously I'm not going to use the Diamond Dew, like I'm going to try that out in my own time, that kind of thing. I'm excited to try it out though. Um, for the lid shade, for this look, I really don't know what to use. So yeah, I think I want to take the, the first shade, I'm going to take the shade Myth which is this shade here um like a green obviously like a greeny shade <laughs> um i'm gonna pack that like next to the green um i'm not i know i'm not um quitting my crease today guys like oh that's really pretty packs on really well dry um I'd be intrigued to see how it applies slightly like more wet should we try it I think we should try it like we're here why the hell not it's very similar there's not much difference to be honest That 
is very like foiled that's really pretty i like that i'm then gonna take the shade crown i'm gonna put that more like where the pink is so that's this shade here really pretty taking that more on like the inner corner that kind of thing on this i'm literally using the same brush guys like i for my shimmer shades i pretty much just use the same brush all the time Their shades do kind of feel a bit more on like the dry side which isn't bad but i'm then gonna take another shade obviously we're here now i'm gonna take a shade radiant which is like more of like a proper inner corner shade it's got like definitely like a reflect to it and obviously we're gonna put this on the inner corner like right at the beginning okay that is very very pigmented i think it's definitely got like a pinky reflect to it which obviously looks nice with it be more on the inner corner because that's where the pink shade is mainly so yeah i'm not mad so i'm gonna go ahead just do this off camera do my base off camera and then we're back to try out the blush together i'm excited so yeah i'll be right back okay so i've just literally just done pretty much nearly everything off camera um other than like my highlighter that kind of thing and um, so we're gonna obviously do the blush now i'm scared Good. So this is the shade that I've got in the shade Petal. I'm really worried because I don't want really like, I don't like cream blushes. So I don't know how this is gonna apply. I'm just gonna take a, like a brush, obviously. Um, I don't know if it's gonna pick up well with a brush. Um, I don't really know. Um, so far it's not really picking up great. Um, I think this is better if you use it on like skin that doesn't have powder on it. Um, there's literally nothing. Like even when I swatch it, there's not a lot coming up to be honest. Hmm. There's like a, just the tiniest amount there, but I've like basically gone into the blush and picked up quite a bit. It's there, it's just, I'm just not a fan of it, to be honest. I feel like it's really patchy, like it's clung to this area, and they said it's clung to this area here and it's clung up here, um, not really blending out the best. Uh, no, if you guys know how to apply this blush properly, then just let me know. It says creamed powder, so I would have thought it would have been okay if you applied it on top of powder products but i don't know it's red red, red, red patchy not pigmented at all mm. Mm, i'm not a fan i'm gonna go ahead just of course do my highlighter fix this blush because i'm gonna apply a powder blush on top just to save it because yeah um <laughs> and then i'll do my lips and then we'll be back to do the gloss so yeah i'll be right back okay so obviously i'm back again i literally have done that everything else my highlighter my lower lash line that kind of thing so yeah now we're going to test out the gloss i am so excited i really hope this lives up to expectations because i'm excited it smells really sweet oh my god it literally smells like sweets i like that i like that let's try it on obviously i just put like a pink lipstick underneath okay This literally smells of a sweet and I don't know what it is. This is really pretty. It literally has like a little flecks of green like glitter in it. But I really like it. <laughs> I really like this. It doesn't feel sticky either. It just feels really nice and comfortable. Obviously it's got like the glitter bits in it. Can I kind of feel it? It's not like it's not gonna annoy me because I'm not gonna be sitting here like rubbing my lips together. Um, 
but yeah I really like this I actually really like it and it looks kind of nice on top of like a pink lipstick as well okay guys this is the finished look what do you guys think I like it I like it Um, it's very like not pastel but it's very like um not as like vibrant as what I usually go obviously I've still incorporated shades in it like colorful shades in it but it's quite like the eye look is quite subdued if that kind of makes sense um not like a bright and bold as what I usually go but it's still a bit of color there but it's more muted I really like it let's talk about the palette first obviously that's the first thing that I went in with honestly I didn't realize at first I totally forgot to mention that there's only four mattes in here at first I honestly thought there was um five mattes I thought this was a matte shade it honestly does look like a matte shade but when you get up close, it is a like a shimmer. I did put it a little bit underneath my brow bone, actually. You can barely tell. But yeah, it's really pretty. There's only four mattes. Considering there's 18 shades all together and there's only four mattes. There's only four mattes. And there's like 14 shimmers. That isn't a big problem. I know it's not the end of the world, but there's four mats. There's four mats. I thought there was five mats. Honestly, if there was five mats, I wouldn't have been that mad because, you know, like if that wasn't mat, I'd have been like, that's cool. But there's four mats. Literally just the pink, the green, this brownie shade here, and this deep brown shade. Yeah. It's a very light palette overall. Um but I just thought there could have been more mattes, to be honest with you. There's so many shimmers in here. Don't get me wrong, the shimmers that I used are gorgeous. Very impressed with the shimmers that I did use. But, yeah, the mattes, I wish there was more. I wish there was more. The mattes I did use, though, obviously, I just used in Bloom and I used, and I used Sage. Um, they built up really well. They blended out well by themselves. But other than that, it's a really pretty palette. I love the colour story. I think it's very unique. There's not another palette on the market that I think looks like this. Moving on to blush. I really didn't have a good time, you guys. I really didn't have a good time. Um, the, I don't know whether I'm using it wrong or something, but trying to pack it on. Because it's a cream to powder, I kind of thought it would work fine on top of powders, but I don't think that's the case. I think it might be one of them blushes that you have to use on top of your cream products. I am not a cream blush, cream bronzer, cream highlighter kind of girl. I'm really not. I'm more of a powder kind of girl. But yeah, I don't know. I might have to keep playing with this. But so far, I'm not in love. <laughs> Let me know if you tried this blush and how you use it and how you apply it because. It might just be me, it might be because I tried to apply it on top of powder products and maybe I need to apply it on top of an actual like cream products. I don't know. Let me let me know guys if you've tried this because yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit disappointed with this to be honest with you. Yeah. The last thing that I tried was the gloss. I know it's in a gloss that it looks like this. So obviously I was really excited to try this. I really like this, you guys. I had never tried a gloss from them before. Obviously, I've never tried anything from them before. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> but I really like this gloss. I really like it. It's really nice. It has a nice scent to it. The scent isn't overpowering. I know it said, I said it smells like sweets. It does, but it's not an overpowering smell. It's kind of like, the more I've worn it, it's kind of like faded a little bit and it's maybe like a little bit. Um, but yeah, I love the shade. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel sticky. I love that the little glitters in it. Obviously, if you're not like a big glitter gloss fan, you might not like this, but... You can't really feel it like when I'm talking right now I can't really feel the gloss the glitter sorry when I'm pressing my lips together um, and I'm not gonna be like rubbing my lips together I highly doubt a lot of people would rub their lips together when they've got gloss on but yeah I really like this I love the shade I love how it's not like obviously as overpowering green as this as it is in the tube but it just looks nice it just adds a little bit of a green hint to the look I think it is Stunning. Let me know if you've tried anything from Lime Crime. Let me know if you have a few favourites from Lime Crime because like I do want to try more from the brand and I'm obviously very grateful that they send these goodies out to me. Um yeah, there's a couple of there's a couple of favourites here. 
Um, a couple of things I still need to play with, but so far I'm impressed. So far I'm impressed with like the palette and with the gloss and I, I really think I'm gonna like this to be honest with you, but we'll have to see. Um, the blush, mm, like I said, might have to work with it some more. It might just be me, but so far not a fan. Um, but other than that, I do like the other products that I got sent. So yes, yeah. so if you did like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out. If you want me to do another look using this palette or if you want me to use do a, a look using this like glitter eyeshadow, then of course just let me know down below. I will definitely do that for you guys. Everything else that I'm wearing on my face, I will of course link down below as well. As always, I'll be linking my social media handles up above and also in the description box down below so you can go and check me out there if you want to. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!